remember how I asked uh, everybody about a lipo charger? <coughs> we've, got a, we've got an answer. Facebook uh, Marketplace come through with the goods. So we don't need to stress anymore. With this beast. Hyperon. EOS 720i, Super Duo 3. Quick rundown. We'll go through a few of the things about it, but I got this for $120 on Facebook Marketplace locally from a fella who was using it to charge the odd RC car, plane, battery, and that was all he ever used it for. Um, and I don't imagine he would have used it hard because he's paranoid about lithium-ion batteries and uh, lipos in particular. So he uh, charge them in their bags and all that kind of stuff. So, dual port, USB data logging, temperature sensors like most of them, two outputs, two 20 amp outputs. So up to 500 watts per channel, which is, makes this a 1000 watt charger. It has the ability to do um, 7S lithium ion polymer which is awesome because 7S is a great 24 volt battery in lithium ion polymer. Lithium ion phosphate, same thing, 7S. Um, works well for that as well. Lead acid up to 24 volts, so it can charge 24 volt vehicles like trucks and things like that on two channels. Up to five amp discharge times two channels, so not horrible, 5 amp discharge isn't fast, but uh, and it doesn't do regenerative discharge, but it's still, still not bad. So, temperature sensor port in each side, balance ports in the front, output ports in there, big thick cables and Banana plugs for a power in. Three massive temperature sensing fans that kick in and out as required. Let's have a look at the accessories it comes with. This is one of the things I'm excited about. They're not there from the old antimatter. I believe that might be called a Dean's connector, something along those lines. Um, big bananas. A pack of banana fly leads. A pack of push fit terminals. A pair of alligator clips to small cable. Some little mini gator clips to banana. What are those ones? They're like the jump starter pack ones. They're like the XT90s. Two right angle bananas. Dean's two big alligators. Another alligator to another banana to whatever they are. Flight power, thunder power. Adapters for two, three, and six series. Just a adapter adapter board. Oh, a balancer, um, voltage meter. Up to eight S. That's handy. Obviously, you use that to check his batteries. More adapters. I've got a few of them already. A pile of beautiful rainbow leads in most of them are uh, yeah, a couple of them are male female, so they're extensions. Another self checker. A 
post mount banana plug. A little RC helicopter. Two bananas. That's different, I haven't seen one of them ones before. 6S to bananas. I have not come across one of those ones before. I'm sure it's a drone battery there. And uh, is it Trax? Traxxas? A lot of them run that in their RC cars. So an absolute pile of accessories for its price. Let's fire it up and show you what it does. Show you how the menu is all pretty simple on that. Might take me a little while to get used to using it, but yeah. That's the box. I looked them up, the prices range a little bit and I've only seen them for sale in the US, so you may not be able to get your hands on one of these super easy. So we're going to be nice to the capacitors in this when we started on the lab power supply. And we're going to start it on the lab power supply by raising the current. Because that's a nice general way of doing it. I think I've seen someone else do that. It might have been a Jehu or a Will Prowse or somebody making videos. As you see, fans don't come on unless they're needed. My last thing, I used this the other day just for a test off my lithium ion battery. Um, and I just um, had it on 3.7 volts, charging one of those modules, just a module. Um, so you go back to, it's got memory so you can memorize what you did with it last. So you got like all your settings. <laughs> Nobody wants button sounds. Absolutely not. In sounds help. Lipo max C. Two C's, it's max charge. Power supply voltage, so it's telling me the voltage coming in at the moment. I oh, know, that's the voltage coming out that you can set as a power supply. Power supply current, 33 amps. So I'm going to be using a 15 volt uh, 40 amp. One of the PowerTech ones for this. Power sharing, so if you're using more wattage than you actually have, you can pick a side which you want to share most of. Minimum input voltage, 10.5. We don't need a serial number. It's not really exciting. Output voltage is high because it's trying to read something. You can measure message battery resistance, peak temperature, current temperature, and charge time, capacity in. So capacity in is what it pulls through this. Discharge time, capacity out. Pick cycles so you can do multiple cycles. So yeah, it's not super user friendly like uh, like some of the eye chargers and things like that they are obviously a lot more user friendly but um, yeah that being said it's it's quite a quite a nice looking unit let's uh, hook one of these balances up just to see what the balance and that is on this 4s pack So the negative is that side. Hmm, can't plug it in. That's a shame these for that system I think my balance lead pins are too small
Yeah, the pins are too small on that balance lid. Let's just quickly check and see if we've got it. Adapter lead. So we need a male to male adapter lead. That's not the right one. Don't want to drop that box. There's so many accessories in it. Some of these plugs are fiddly. This must not have the right bits. I've got a couple other ones here. Let's grab them real quick. I've had a few different LiPo chargers over the years that have came and gone. Some of them had a bad time. This one's a multi-parallel one, so you can actually put multiples together. We'll try the plain one first. So what we want is that onto there. That way. Which goes beautifully. So we should be able to click the 4S onto there. No, nah, that 4S is a not good one. It doesn't doesn't make the balance charging easy. So we will replace that. Um, I do have a replacement kicking around. Yeah, that allows you to do that. These will be candy for stuff on the road. Um, I'll stick some leads on it. Let me show you how to put make power come out of it, I guess. Just pick a cell on its own, which we can do by going that one to a negative, and that one to a positive. Can't see the screen. So we can go battery type, battery voltage, capacity. So the highest capacity you can go to is 100 amp hours. Um, I'm sure there's a setting that allows you to change that charge, temperature, safety timer. TCS total capacity stored maybe action continue at the end when you're done so we should be able to go it'll ask you to start it if it's got no balancer you can then confirm it does a quick battery check so select cells one cell 4.1 Balance are advised, obviously because it knows it's lithium. You see the amperage slowly come up. You see the power supply start to do something. Because this battery was nearly charged when it uh, blew its BMS up, it's not going to put much in. And then you can scroll through milliamp hour capacity. Input voltage, temperature, peak temperature, peak voltage. I need to figure out what TCS is that because I don't know. As you see, it's charging at um, 2 amps. Just topping that cell off nicely. So, pretty stoked I found this. 
it's the button to press to stop it again. That easy. With the uh, right cables and things like that, it'll allow me to make some cool battery modules like this. And I believe it says it balances up to five amps or something crazy. Let's set it on the box. I'm not sure. Oh, what am I doing? A balance test, I'll be able to tell you. I need to test out their um, data, data suite. Oh, built in 300, 300 milliamps balance per cell. Yeah, very cool. And uh, a little bit of data logging will be awesome for our first charge ups of batteries and things that we've built. Yeah, pretty stoked. And the ability to take it anywhere and charge almost any kind of battery with it is just awesome. I know it wasn't the most interesting video, but I just had to share uh, this new tool with you guys. Yeah, look at this, it doesn't it didn't even have the plastic peeled off. That was satisfying. Cool unit. Feels like it's really heavy duty made. I imagine when he bought it, he probably paid a lot of money for it. He said he had it for a few years and it sat for a few years because I tried to get some of his um, batteries off him. He uh, had them disposed of. So, yeah. Cool thing. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. And, uh, yeah, keep your eyes out on places like Facebook Marketplace. Uh, one of the keywords I have saved on Gumtree, Gumtree as well is RC Charger. You find it for your remote control cars. Thanks, guys.